What is up guys and today we are going to be going over the boss bar command just a quick tutorial I'm sure other channels have done this before but I just want to have a video to reference if I ever say look back to this if you want to see what I did before um, and I thought maybe I could help uh, give a better explanation if you didn't know so boss bar it's a new command slash boss bar pretty cool right it has a lot of uses it basically is just going to create a bar that looks like the one from the ender dragon or the wither and it lets you mess with it too so first we are going to make a boss bar how do we do that so we're going to use this command we're going to boss bar create hero brine <laughs> all right so i'll go through each step boss bar create is going to make a new one id is going to be the name that the commands use for it so hero prime and then the next is the name that you will see so you can do two quotation marks and do a name like that or Alternatively, you can use JSON syntax um, of this text colon, and you can say here Brian, and then color colon blue. It's something like that. I I have probably typed it wrong. I haven't done this in like a bajillion years. Um, but you can use like the websites to generate Telraw and just copy the text from the Telraw and use it right here. It works the same. Um, so we're going to click that and it's going to make it. All right, we made here a Brian with a sad face. Next, set up the color. We are going to do slash boss bar set, which is what you're going to use to mess with any of the, the things with boss bar. So here a Brian, and then there's all these options. First, we're going to do color, and we're going to pick one of the default colors, which I think there's eight or six wait one two three four five six okay they only have seven that work with this wow fancy anyway so um yeah so here's uh red which is one of the seven next we have styles styles is how it looks uh, it could be a solid bar or it has little lines in it so this time we are going to and i want to just activate that so you can see it all right so here we have our boss bar at the top it's empty right now uh, but it says here are brian and red styles we can change it to a notch style it's hard to tell but it added six notches up here and you can add anywhere between so we go back to set hero brian and this time we're picking style you can add anywhere between 6 10 12 20 or progress progress is just a solid bar um, anyway so we're gonna have notches in our just to show this fanciness next is setting up the max value ours is gonna be 600 it's the same thing boss bar set here O'Brien and then this time we're picking the setting for max this is the biggest number that the boss bar can be so this one we're picking 600 as the biggest number uh, next is the current value so this is how much it's currently at which is those two max and value are the two you're gonna mess with the most so we're gonna look at value and we're gonna set it to 500 not exactly 600 so you can see what it looks like how it doesn't have a full health bar so as you can see right there we have one, two, three, four, five notches out of the six notches full. And uh, that's about five, six of the way through. I mean, the way the code does it is it kind of like just compares the max and what uh, you're at to determine how long the color should be stretched. I mean, that's that's game coding. We're not talking about that right at the minute. Um, but anyway, so you have a max value, which is how big the bar is and how much is it fills up is on scale between the max and what you're at as you would expect last is who can see it this is saying who is able to see the boss bar the sad thing is you're not able to pick who sees the boss bar um i don't know if the word would be explicitly um but if i do this command it means i can see the boss bar and i can't make it so i can't see the boss bar i can't hide it to myself anymore if i want to hide the boss bar i have to do this and then type false and if i do that then it disappears but it disappears for everybody else who sees the boss bar so these are really like global scoreboards they were kind of like scoreboards on the sidebar who can everybody will see it that is able to see it and if no if you don't want people to see it nobody can see it so you might be wondering how do we mess with values and it's a little complicated but it's possible to do so we're going to use the test scoreboard and we're going to set the test scoreboard to 600 and when i flick this lever what's going to happen is it's going you're going to see this bar go down all the way because we're removing one from the test scoreboard all the way down to zero 
as you can see it goes down if i stop it it'll stop if i stop it it'll keep going it'll keep going you may be wondering well i have no idea what that's doing and that's using execute store and a remove scoreboard as expected as expected we have a command here that says scoreboard players remove at a with a test score of at least 10 we're removing 10 from it so that that makes sense you can you can get that from the look i mean you see a bar going down by about 10 each per tick which makes sense but the re but how it gets there is the different part so what we're going to do is we're going to use a new function a new thing with execute it's called execute store and what execute store lets it lets you store the results of something or the success of a command so you can either store like a true or false value or you can restore an actual number. So we're going to restore a result. Next is what type of result. So where do you want to store your result to? So we want to restore our result to the boss bar because the boss bar is doing what we want to display. So we are going to alter the boss bar called Herobrine. We're going to store the result to the boss bar called Herobrine and we are going to restore it on the value. So what this means, it's the same as if we did slash boss bar set hero Brian value, but using the execute score, it lets us make this last number. See this number we're putting in, how we have to put one to ourselves. We have to type one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What the execute store is going to do is it's going to turn this last number, this last input into a variable X or whatever you want to call it. It's the result from the command. So store value, and that's it. That's all you need. The rest is all the rest of the stuff that you want to do. You can rotate where you're doing the command at. You can orient the command. You can send it to another entity, whatever. But we're just doing run. So the last thing we're going to do is this thing where we're doing scoreboard players remove at A and all that stuff. So basically what happens is we remove 10 from the test score and when we remove 10 from the test score the results of the command when we do that what is it what does it show up in our chat let's check that out removed 10 from test score cloud wolf now 440 so this number that is the new number is called 440 and that is going to go right here in our command it is going to show up right can you stop? I, I, I don't like the tooltips. It's really annoying. All right. It's going to show up right here. Boss bar set value 440. And if we do it again, instead, it'll put 430. And if we do it again, it'll put 420 because, you know, it plays it. Anyway, so the point is the result from this scoreboard command is going to be whatever the value is. And the value is going to be put on the hero brine boss bar. And it does it a bunch of times until it reaches zero. So hopefully you guys understood that. I mean, it's <laughs> commands get have gotten a lot harder to explain because they're a lot more complicated, but they're also a lot more powerful. Anyways, guys, I will be back later on with some videos that cover what you can do with this in a different sense. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.